Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swag On. And in this video, as you can see, we got ourselves another whiteboard video here on the channel. I know you guys like your whiteboard videos. These, of course, are the most important videos we make here on the YouTube channel. And today might be the most important of the whiteboard videos that we are making because we are asking one of the most pertinent questions in our hobby, and that is the question of, are you a real comic collector? Are you a real comic collector? The question that everybody asks each other in the hobby. I get it all the time. You probably get it all the time. We all get it all the time. Are you even a real comic collector? So in this video, as you can see, I've gone and made a very comprehensive flow chart so that we can figure out if we ourselves are real comic book collectors. You yourself can play at home as I take you through the journey of the possibilities of being a comic book collector, and we can all find out together. Now, this is obviously a video that is inspired by one of my all-time favorite videos of all time from the Dude Bro Science channel. Highly recommend you go check it out. I felt like we needed one in comic books here, so I decided to take us through this journey as well. So let's start out here at the top. Of course, if you guys want to like, comment, subscribe, that's all good, but let's get into it. Are you a real comic collector? Well, do you buy comics? No, you do not. Okay. Why are you even watching this video? Welcome to my channel, by the way. But in fact, you are not a comic book collector because you do not buy comics. So you therefore are not a collector. Therefore, we must start again. All right. Are you a real comic collector? Do you buy comic books? Yes, you do. Are they digital? Yes, they are. Obviously, digital is not real comic books. You are not a real collector. Are you a real comic collector? Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it manga? Yes, it is. Well, obviously, then your book is back where you are not a real comic book collector. We're talking about real comics here, guys. Real comics. You are not a real comic collector. Let's start again. Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it Dogman? Yes, it is. What are you, six? Yes, you are. Well, call me in 20 years and let me know if you are actually a real comic book collector because at this moment you are not a real comic book collector. Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it Dogman? Yes, it is. Are you six? No, it is. No, you are not. Enough said. You are not a collector. Go back to one. All right, let's start again. Now that we understand those types of comic books, let's talk about the other types here. Are you a real comic collector? Do you buy comic books? Yes, you do. Are they from indie publishers? Yes, they are. Is it a crowdfunded comic book? Yes, it is. Who would ever do a crowdfunded comic book? We're talking about real comic book collectors. Let's start again. Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it from an indie publisher? Yes, it is. Is the book written by Donny Cates? No, it is not. Why would you be buying anything indie not written by Donny Cates? There's no spec value in that. You are not a real collector and you must start again. Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it an indie publisher? Yes, it is. Is it written by Donny Cates? Yes, it is. Hmm. Did you buy issue number two? We all know you didn't. No, you didn't. You are not a real collector. Start again. Is it an indie publisher written by Donny Cates? Yes, it is. Did you buy issue number two? Yes, you did. Don't lie to me. Okay, you're not lying. You bought issue number two. Did you buy issue number three though? Of course you did not. No, you didn't. There were no first appearances in issue number three and therefore you decided not to read it and buy it because nobody was actually caring and reading about the story. We only bought the Donny Cates books for spec value. Therefore, you again are not a real comic book collector. All right. From the top, once again, let's, do, let's run it back here. Are you a real comic collector? Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it from the big two? Yes, it is. Is it a trade? Yes, it is. Well, that's very easy of an answer. You are not a real comic book collector. Trades don't count. Do you buy comics? Yes, they do. Is it from the big two? 
Yes, it is. Is it a modern comic? Yes, it is. Was the cover done by Clayton Crane? Yes, it was. Uh, sir, I don't like how you're looking at my wife right now, so this conversation is over. Let's start again. Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Is it from the big two? Yes, it is. Is it a modern comic book? Yes, it is. Is it cover done by Clayton Crane? No, it is not. Okay. Do you have a pull list? No, you don't. Well, then how are you going to get the hot books every single week? You are not a real comic book collector. Run it back. Is it by Clayton Crane? No, it's not. Do you have a pull list? Yes, you do. Oh, you do. You got a pull list. Well, can I ask you, sir, why you have not picked up your books? It's been a few weeks. Why is that? Because times are tough. Oh, Crime Your River, times are tough. Everybody knows that comics are greater than bills and necessities. And if you were a real comic book collector, you would know that and you would be wasting all of your money buying new comic books, regardless of the economic situations that we're in. So therefore you are not a real comic book collector. Let's run it back from the top. Are you a real comic collector? Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Are they from the big two? Yes, they are. Are they vintage comics? Yes, they are. Is it Copper Age? Do you consider Copper vintage? Y yes, you do. Well, you, sir, are not a real collector. Everybody and their mom owns Copper Age books. Everybody has them left over in their garage in their mom's basement. You know that, I know that, everybody knows that. You are not a real comic book collector with Copper Age books. Let's go back. Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. Big two, yes it is. Vintage comic books. Yes, it is. Is it Golden Age? Yes, it is. Well, have I ever heard of this book? No, I haven't. Well, obviously, if I've never heard of it and the only two people that know about it are Golden Age Guru and Ryan over at Automatic Comic Books, you are not a real comic book collector because only what I say is real comic books are real comic books and that's how it goes and that's the way that this works. Let's run it back. Big two. Vintage comic books, Golden Age. Have I ever heard of this book? Yes, I have. Is it Action Comics number one? No, it is not. Why are you wasting your money? Call me back when you get an Action Comics number one. Do you buy vintage comics? Golden Age comics, yes, you do. Have I ever heard of it? Yes, I have. Is it an Action Comics number one? Yes, it is. Wow. How did you make your money? You bought it off the rack. So you're like 100 years old. Can I be in your will? No, I cannot. Well, you are not giving back to the community. Therefore, you are not a real comic book collector. Is it an action one? Yes, it is. How did you make your money? Acting. Are you Nick Cage? Yes, you are. Nick Cage watches my YouTube channel. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I'd actually like to talk to you. I have some movie ideas that I would love to run by the way. I happen to work in entertainment, so you know, call me after you watch the rest of this video. But let's talk about your comic book here. You had an action one, it got stolen from you. Do you even have good security? If you were a real comic book collector, that would have never happened. You wouldn't have let your action comics one get stolen from you. You don't know the value, the true value of your comic books. You would have been better protected. Therefore, you were not a real comic book collector. Run it back one more time. Are you a real comic collector? Do you buy comics? Yes, you do. From the big two? Yes, you do. Are they vintage? Yes, they are. Is it silver and bronze? Yes, it is. Do you sell comics? Yes, you do. Well, that's called being a dirty flipper right there. Everybody knows a dirty flipper is not a real comic book collector. Vintage comic books, silver age. Do you sell your comics? No, you do not. Okay. Do you have over 10,000 comics? No, you do not. Call me when you get to 10,000. We'll run it back and have another conversation. Do you sell your comics? No, you do not. Do you have over 10,000 books? Yes, you do. How many of those books have you read? Less than half. Once again, get to reading. Call me back once you finish reading. Do you have over 10K books? 
Yes, you do. How many have you read? All of them. Bullshit. Not for real. Are you a historian? Yes. Bullshit. Not for real. Are you a historian? No. Therefore, if you're not a historian and you spend all this time reading comic books, you have infinite knowledge, you have an encyclopedia in your head, and you are not getting back to the community. You should be working for Marvel or DC because the continuity is completely all over the place and you are wasting your life not fixing comic books and therefore you are not a real comic book collector because you are not giving back that information to the community. Well, as you can see guys, taking you through the flow chart right here, you guys will have noticed that no matter what you do, no matter what avenue you go under, you are not a real comic book collector. That is just the reality of the situation. Doesn't matter what you buy, what you do, what you do in this hobby. You're not gonna be a real comic book collector. There are no real comic book collectors in comic books. Everybody knows that. And so that is the reason why this hobby is screwed. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. That was me taking you through the flow chart. Let me know what you guys got. Let me know what you guys are. If you're a real comic book collector, see you in the next one.